This is the Pyro class using the Combo Pyro loadout. The loadout includes the Grisu Flow Gun and the Extinguisher. Today, we will look at the strengths and weaknesses of this loadout and loadout review. Before the rest of the video, please like and subscribe. I want to get to 100 subscribers before the half of the video ends. To understand this loadout, we need to break it down to the primary, secondary, and melee. The primary weapon is the Grisu. Its positive stats are this weapon deploys 60% faster. Also, this weapon hosts 30% faster. Negative stats are a 9 negative 25 air blast cost and a negative 66 afterburn damage penalty. The holster and deploy speed increase suited better than stock for comboing with secondary weapons. For the negative stats, negative 25 air blast cost isn't a big deal when that can be easily overdone with good ammo management. Less afterburn isn't a big deal either. You shouldn't be reliant on afterburn. <laughs> Next, the secondary, the flare gun. The flare gun stats are 100% critical chance versus a burning player. This weapon will reload when not active. Oddly, the flare gun and the sandwich are secondaries that have other secondaries that are positive and negative stats based off of them, such as the banana and detonator. You trade off your shotgun for the flare gun that does better range damage compared to the close range shotgun. The flare gun takes more scale than the shotgun, but allows you to do 90 damage at a farther range compared to the shotgun. Finally, the melee, the extinguisher. The extinguisher stats are many crits burning players and extinguishes them. Damage increased based on remaining duration of afterburn. When you get a killing blow on burning players, you get a speed boost. Negative stats are 33 damage, no random critical hits, and this weapon holsters 35% slower. The extinguisher does over finishing off targets. It can be easily called an upgrade compared to stock. Overview With the quicker holster and the play speed increase from the greaser, which naturally pairs with the flare gun and the extinguisher, making the pyro do more burst damage. Your downsides are a weaker afterburn on your primary, a secondary with less clip, not having a splash flare which limits your ability to have area control. The power of the combo pyro is strong. Many consider this one better than stock. At the end of the day, the combo pyro is one of the many lows that can be made in Team Fortress 2. Please check out these other videos, and please subscribe and like the video. Thanks.